Tom, as we just mentioned, this is kind of a homecoming of sorts for you. You last coached against BYU when you were the head coach of California. What do you remember about that game? Oh, I can hardly remember anything about that game except, you know, going against my former team. That was a little bit of an odd feeling. It happens a lot, but when it does, it's odd. What did it take to set up this game and get it in late November? Not much. I was fighting for this game for a long time, and I think it's a good rivalry to be able to play in the Bay Area and to play in L.A., to be able to play Cal and Stanford. That's just a natural, but I think that uh, working with the Pac-12, they were very helpful in getting that November time period. We could have played Pac-12 teams early all the time, but playing them in November had to do with Notre Dame having that grandfather series in with USC and Stanford. So with Stanford, Cal last week, they needed someone to play. Why not BYU? What kind of emotions are you feeling as you come back and, and walk on the sidelines where you used to be a head coach and now you're the athletic director for the visitor? You know, I, I haven't come down on the field till just to do this interview. I'm going to stay up in the stands. Uh, this place is for the players and the coaches. And uh, I'll come down after the game, hopefully, and be in a victorious locker room. With everything that's happened with, to BYU this year with injuries and, and adversity, what would an eighth win coming against a Pac-12 opponent in the last regular season game of the year mean for BYU? It, it would mean a lot. It's interesting. At the beginning of every season, people ask me, how many wins are we going to have? You know, that would mean I'd have to say who we're going to lose to, which I don't think we're ever going to lose. Sometimes we do. But, uh, you know, this has been a very strange season in that you're starting 4-0 and, oh, and we're ranked 18th. you got a Heisman Trophy candidate. He gets hurt. And then we get into a little tailspin. I'm really proud of the boys that they rallied. The coaches took them out of the spin. You know, we played three games against, you know, not great competition, but they came back strong. This will be a test. These guys are really, really good on offense, and they're fighting for a bowl uh, game that they haven't been to in a little while. So this, there's a lot in line for them today. Tom, really quick, what kind of vibe are you getting from the BYU coaches and players throughout practice this week? Well, I was in Maui for the basketball tournament, so I've been talking on the phone, but they know that there's a lot riding on this. They know that Cal's a good football team, and that eighth win will put us into a bowl game where you can get a chance to get nine, and then a lot of it has to do with building for the future also. So even though the future, a year from now, when you start talking about what it'll be like then, I would say the future is now, and this is the most important game on the docket today of any Michigan, Ohio State, Virginia Tech, Virginia, all those. It doesn't matter. This one is the most important for BYU. He's a traveling man from Maui to Berkeley and now back to Miami in three weeks. Tom Homo, BYU Athletic Director. Dave? All right, Spencer, thank you.